video storytelling class at PS217. We wanted to make a video about Coney Island Avenue. Many different ethnic groups live on Coney Island Avenue. They seem to get along so well. So we wanted to find out why. This barbershop is run by a Jewish man and a Pakistani man. We wanted to know how they got along so well. This is on another street because it's uh, with all nationals in, the, uh, in New York and Brooklyn and United States, you know? Okay. This is very good, it's very nice. It's everything, everybody lives friendly and uh, it's mixed area, it's uh, national. It's uh, doesn't matter who are you, what a national are you, but it's, uh, it's very good for, not only for Coney Island Avenue, for all United States. Everybody live here, live together. It's working on uh, or the capital working together. It's everybody live it here, nice, no problem, nothing. Russian people, Pakistani, everybody to live together. Uh -huh. How did you get? How did you two get into business together? Oh, I'm still here. I'm working here 18 years. Okay. And this barber shop. He starts come to me and ask me about uh, yeah. yeah for them. We can rent it to uh, chair in, uh, in this back book shop. Okay. That's it. Okay, that's good. That's a good answer. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> not even yeah. stay yeah. together yeah. already three yeah. years. Yeah. Right. Three years, uh, no problem, no. So when when he came in um, to ask for the chair, did you feel he's he's not like you? So. What do you mean? No, 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 no. no. I'm I'm okay about any national. My wife. Yeah, I'm Jewish. My wife, she is a Ukrainian. Ukrainian from Ukraine. He's from uh, Pakistan. You know, I don't care which which nation is he. I wish everyone you know? fought like you in this world. Ah, this would uh, be great. It would be great. It would be great, you know. Okay, what kinds of people come to the barbershop? Any kind of people. It's mixed area, it's coming to Puerto Rico, Russian, Jewish, Pakistani, Indian, Spanish, everybody is coming here. For him. 17, 17 years. You've been coming here? Here 17 years. Last, last 11 years I drive from New Jersey to Brooklyn to get my haircut. I live in New Jersey. And once a month I'm coming for my haircut. Rosby, and I am the executive director of COPA, Council of People's Organization. It's a community-based organization which helps individuals with social services. We provide English classes as second language to community members. We provide health services. We provide um, students help about homework help. And we're providing other services here regarding immigration. I started COPA because after the effects of 9-11, the attacks that happened after 9-11, many community members were lost. If you look around this neighborhood, you will see that they all speak a Urdu language, which is a Pakistani language. And they needed help to find their relatives because many individuals were picked up. And they did not know about their rights. They did not know how to speak English. So we started to help the community members here to speak English, to know about their rights, and to try to find their loved ones who were being picked up. We also have a, a youth program for the young kids to come and play in a nice area in the backyard here. So let's go in and I'll show you. And the kids, they love to play here because it's, it's safe. There are no other kids from outside or older kids who can come in and take their courts. So here, they, they really feel comfortable. Why do you think people get along so well in Coney Island Avenue? Many of the people that are here they actually come from different parts of the country, different parts of the world, I should say. Different parts of the world, they come here, and when they get a chance to meet each other, they're like, you're not so different from, them, from myself. You have the same problems that I have. So they start to understand the commonality issues relating to them, whether it's getting food, whether it's getting a haircut, whether it's going to the restaurant, are the same things. So they start to understand each other even more closer. Because in their countries, they really don't have, for example, in Pakistan, there are not that many Jewish people. Here, we are living side by side, and we are very close with them. In Pakistan, there are not other types of people 
who are here. For example, like Indians. Here, the Indians are here. And the Pakistanis living side by side. So it gives them a chance on Coney Island Avenue in Brooklyn to live side by side and share the resources and also share the interest and the commonalities that they have. Please tell us about the incident between the Pakistani and the Jewish youth. Well, a while back, what had happened on Avenue M was uh, in a Dunkin near Dunkin Donuts, there was a Pakistani who was about to get an ice cream, and there were five youth individuals who actually made some slurs, and then they had a fight. It turned out that it was a hate crime, and more importantly, these types of incidents that had, did occur, when they do occur, it's most likely it's an isolated incident. It does not mean that the community has sub such type of tensions. So what I was able to, because I was working with the Jewish community very closely, a dear friend of mine, his name is Rabbi Bob Kaplan, I called him up immediately that this incident just happened. So he and I worked together. When the news media wanted to portray something that, oh, it's a big fight and there's going to be more fights, it seemed like it was actually a spark that could have ignited a huge fire. So what we were able to do is get the leaders from the Muslim community leaders, which I was doing, and Rabbi Bob Kaplan, who was getting the Jewish community leaders, and we were getting the elected officials to stand, stand by each other, stand, you know, standing together side by side and saying one thing. The incident occurred and we have to figure out it's a hate crime. Now we have to think about justice. This type of work, this type of uh, issue is not what's happening within the community. This is an isolated incident. It's one incident because the news media was always trying to make it like it's such a big incident that it's going to happen again and again. So we were able to you know, calm that down within the community. So there are no other tensions building up in the community. For them to understand the common goal is about safety. Safety for both community members, whether it's the Jewish community or the Muslim community. And that's what we've been working on. Did anything that happened in your childhood make you want to start Coco? Well, I'm so glad you asked that. I Actually, there is. Um, the things that happened in my childhood was my dad was the first pioneer that came into this country and was working hard. He was always helping others who came in. He, I always remember that when I was sleeping and you know in my room, my dad's like, "Oh, here's a new uncle who just came from Pakistan and he needs help and he's gonna be living with us." So my dad actually really affected me a lot. He was always helping people whenever in time of need. Whenever they came you know, to him for help, I always remember that. And my dad is still here helping others. Why were you asked to go to Israel? Yes, the person who I went to Israel was my dear friend again, Rabbi Bob Kaplan from the JCRC, Jewish Community Relations Council. He and I were the ones who were requested to come and show the building up coalitions and how did we do this. And we were actually training other individuals within different groups from the Muslim, the Christian, and the Jewish communities, how to work together, how to get along, just like on Coney Island Avenue. How do you work on those commonalities issues? You can't fix the whole world, but you are able to fix your street, perhaps have it cleaned up, perhaps have the safety, perhaps have work with the NYPD with, for safety for your community. So when we got to Israel, the first thing that they said was, oh, that's America, you guys get along and everything is good there. Here it's different, it's difficult. But we explained to them, even in America, even in the United States, we work together, hand in hand. We, when there's an issue, when there's an incident, just like the Dunkin' Donuts incident on Avenue M, we said we work together, we get the people to come together and stand next to each other and move forward with that.